Hey there, I'm Moala. In previous sessions, you learned how to make something like this in Figma.com, one of the best tools to make a design for your application. Now we want to learn how to transfer the graphics here to Designer, how to make them like this. You know, this is one layout and another layout like this. It comes up and you can see that black cover here. Well, how to make that in before A? First of all, we need to create a project before X pages. And let me name that um, Figma. Okay. The first thing that we need to do is this background. Other than that, we don't need to export anything from Figma. So I press Control Backspace to see the panels, and then I click on this, but it's still, you know, the frame is selected. I just want this layer that is here. To be sure that that's the layer that I want, I click on this eye icon. Yes, that's it. And from here, from right panel, I can click on export, JPG, PNG, SVG, and PDF. Here I need JPG. If I want to transfer something which is transparent, of course, PNG will help me, but now JPG is enough. And this is the size. I prefer to make it bigger, maybe 3x, and then export file here. Okay, now let's go to designer and we will change this one. So I hold control. I don't want this one, this line. And here I need to transfer the file here. So from here I can drag it to file tab. And then here I can give it to the background of the activity. So from here I choose bitmap drawable. And from here, I will choose the name of this file, image1. Very simple. To see the result, we can click here. And we can see that here. Yes, I have activity title and this button. To remove activity title, while activity is selected, you can click on that one. Then you don't have that title here and this button here what we had was this button so we want to make that one that button to something like this it's very easy let's resize that maybe something like this we can give the anchor horizontal anchor to both sides by clicking here and I prefer the vertical anchor to be from bottom. Okay, now we can see that it's here. But what about that gradient that we had in Figma? Let's make it a little taller. If you come down, you can see here button properties. If you select this one, then you have a lot more options. You know, if that is default, you don't see any option, other option, but you need to choose this one. And then from here, if you need only one color, okay, that's the case. But we have gradient. So it says from left to right, from black to white. Let's see. From left to right, from black to right. We want this one to be from top to bottom. So... Here, let me choose it again. So that was here from top to bottom. And now I need to bring those colors here. It's here. This is the first color, the top color. So let me copy that. And here I can paste it here. And the other color this one
let me make it wider corner radius let's make that for example 50 let's increase that and this is the result you have a button you know with gradient and with radius very nice isn't it simply we can make something like that let's reduce a little from height and the text is sign up and what about this text that we have it here we had you know a kind of effect like shadow but in before it that's a bit difficult to create something like that we can you know transfer the same one with you know this shadow by export and PNG because then it will be transparent with that you know let's export that with that shadow it has that shadow as you see uh, because by you know code that's more difficult but for now I just leave it very simple and let's add one label here maybe and horizontal anchor to both sides and here so for, from here from bottom and here you know both sides and let's pay attention to left and right they need to be exactly the same for this one and for this one right and left okay now let's type welcome text welcome and the text color of course white so this is a result still you know alignment and size alignment needs to be centered and the size for example 27 very good and maybe we can make it bold style and bold and maybe 30 I think that's good enough and the other button let's press ctrl D and then the text sign in and the color of course uh, the background we don't need gradient anymore so we can have white one and the text color let's copy that um, text color very good oh my god what about uh, radius here 50 very nice it looks exactly like this one first let's make that black cover I need that to happen when I click on this button isn't it so let's go here so I create a event for that one for this one when I click on this a black panel should cover the whole activity so let's type the rest of that here I don't want this one now we need one panel let's define that here dim panel cover as panel and we can initialize that here panel cover dot initialize and we need one name for the event of this panel okay now we can change the background of this panel so panel cover dot background and as you see it gets color drawbar so we need another variable for color drawable dmcr as color drawable very good and now we can give this new variable to the background of the panel 
But now it's time to initialize that variable. CR.initialize. The first parameter is color and the second one is radius. We don't need the radius here. But the first one, color. We can say color dot the first one ARGB. Why? Because it allows me to specify the alpha, alpha of the color. So the alpha, the first parameter, needs to be from 1, from 0 to 225. So I can say 150. Now you need one number for RGB. If you type 0 for all of them, the color and the output will be black. If you type 255 for each of them, it will be white. And then radius, I don't need it here. Okay, the panel is ready and I can add that to my activity or my root. So I can say root.addView PNL cover where from 0, 0, the width of the root, the height of the root. So 0, 0, root.width and root.height. But, you know, I'm writing the whole code inside, you know, page created. At this time, I want it to be invisible. Visible equal to false. But when I click on this button, I want that to appear. Let's test the application. I don't need this one, so I need to make it off. Let's copy and paste that here. And let's try the application. When I click, it shows me this PNL, this panel. But when I click on that, I want it to disappear. So I need another event. Let's pause the program. Sub. What was the name of the event? This one underlying click and when I click on this I want the panel to disappear so PNL cover dot visible equal to false let's test the application again okay it's working but if you remember in my final result you know it appeared with a kind of fade to have that let's change that to set visible animation first it needs duration it can be something like 300 and the visibility it can be it needs to be true here same code here so let me paste that here and the visibility to false very good we need to save the application and we can see it's happening but one problem is that you know i need this panel to cover even these buttons to do that I need to give elevation to this panel. So I can say PNL cover underline set elevation. This one. Duration, we don't need a duration. Here, if I say 1DIP, still that button will be visible. So here I can say 2DIP. Yes. As you see, now it's covering the whole activity. I think that's enough for this session. In following session, we will make the rest of the application, this one. So please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit like button. Thank you for watching this video.